Okay, so actually, let's proceed ahead with your uh, HR, and you are going for HR position, right, in HPCL? Yes, sir. So, can we start with your uh, introduction, Ashwini? Yes, sir. Sir, my name is Ashwini Kumar Mina. I hail from Jaipur, which is also known as Pink City. I have completed my Bachelor of Engineering in Electrical and Electronics from Builder Institute of Technology, Mesra Raichi. And then I have done my master in Master of Business Administration in Marketing and Human Resource from Malvi National Institute of Technology, Jaipur. And last year I have cleared UGC Net examination and uh, UGC Net examination and UGC, UGC Net GRF also in management subject. If I talk about my research work, I have done my MBA final semester research work on the topic of training and development in handicraft industry from uh, Jaipur Craft Private Limited. That uh, research work was highly recognized by the company and also my college faculty members. I'm a professionally skilled person working on the post of a probationary officer in Indian Bank, Bangalore, where my job profile includes HR work related to compensation and benefits, marketing and underwriting of credit proposals, and customer relationship management. That's all about me. Thank mm -hmm. you. Ashwin, tell me something about compensations. Mm -hmm. The so compensation uh, divided in various parts, like uh, if a employee, yeah, if a colleague um, give me some bills for their travel allowance or some journey they have done for business purpose. So we have to take their bills and then we have to reimburse that part. We check whether this are according to his scale or his place of posting or not, divided between scale, scale A, scale 2, uh, tier 1 city, tier 2 cities. Mm. And also for other compensations are there for medical bills, some reimbursements are there. So we have to process that pass, part and process to our higher authority and higher offices. Mm. Okay. Okay, Ashwini, now what are the challenges we face uh, during this compensation uh, domain, compensation activities when you provide somebody? So the main challenge is the authenticity of the bills. Whenever we get the bills, we have to check whether these bills are genuine and or fake so for that we have to normally search what are the uh, average prices between this distance whether this distance is there or not uh, the fake bills are the there. benefit of doubt sorry sir the company or to the person whom do you give the benefit of doubt to the company or person uh, so i'm not getting the meaning of benefit of doubt benefit of doubt means you find a document where you are not sure whether it is authentic it is not authentic it is 50 okay. percent in your subjective opinion okay. it may be authentic it may not be authentic so if you give that compensation to the person mm -hmm. uh, then that uh, benefit of doubt goes to the person if you don't give benefit is to the company so if uh, you're 50 percent sure how you will mm -hmm. take the decision so actually, sir, for this, I once again verify with the person mm -hmm. whether do you have a, like a full bill is there or some other details are there. Mm -hmm. Then I take one undertaking from his side. If these mm -hmm. bills are genuine mm -hmm. and this is the charges that have occurred. Then I pass this to my higher authority for signature. Mm -hmm. So I give my take my decision according to my will and uh, uh, my like uh, my colleagues or employees uh, undertaking. Mm. So that is my part. Mm. Okay. Okay, Ashwini, now uh, tell me what are the typical uh, interpersonal issues uh, between the employees which HR manager can sort out? Uh, sir, in uh, government sector, some the difference between uh, private sector and government sector are different. So mm. if I talk about whole, like uh, including private sector also, the one, one difference is the performance, uh, uh, measuring the performance. Mm -hmm. Because for the private sector, performance can be measured like uh, if you are my friend or this, uh, I got the opportunity from your uh, help. So the performance we generally take uh, granted, you know, no, this person can do the performance better in next time or next year. We don't uh, like punish him. But if you are normal employees there, so we take the this is steps very seriously. We also mm -hmm. scold him. So mm -hmm. one point is there. So it, it, it creates a, like a problem between the two person. Mm -hmm. And also salary part. Normally, mm -hmm. the salary also we take like calculate on the basis of how much important this person is. Or but there's a partiality in between these two like biases. Mm -hmm. So the salary part is also there, which creates a conflict between the two. Uh, like I mean, employees. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
ओके सो इन विच केस अश्विनी यू डीमोट अ पर्सन डिमोशन कब किया जाता है डिमोशन लाइक इज अ वेरी बिग स्टेप बट लाइक इफ हिज स्टेप्स आर नॉट एथ लाइक नॉट एथ सॉरी नॉट जेनुअन इन दैट केस और हिज स्टेप्स आर क्रिएटिंग अ लॉस टू द कंपनी एंड दैट लॉस इज ही ऑलरेडी नोज दैट ही इज डूइंग द लॉस टू द कंपनी इंटेंशनली that in case demotion is the good option but it is the first warning step because again he will do this step then it is a ter- termination for him so mm-hmm. basically this policy is done in the private sector but in government sector we normally take we first day we take granted but for mm-hmm. next day we go to the higher authority because unions are also there he also take his side like it's a big big or like big step so some reports will be there because he has to give his explanation also why he has done like this so for both side we have to take and the higher management will take the decision hmm. Hmm. okay and ashwini tell me now uh, in which case you will terminate a, terminate a person sir demotion uh, or termination mein kya difference aayega sir demotion means if he is scale 2 so we will uh, demotivate demotivate to scale 1 hmm. so this is the like small step as compared to termination because in this his job is secured but he mm. has done like very high financial loss mm. to the company which is not recoverable mm-hmm. and it is like is more than his salary mm-hmm. then we will go for termination mm-hmm. and for a demotion demo demotivation like uh, we the normal cases we can go like for some fight between the customers and intentionally he has done this he has come with uh, like alcohol in the company we don't know like so us case mein hum usko kar sakte hain but termination is bahut big step acha ye jo uh, union hota hai trade union hota hai employee union hota hai iske bare mein aapka kya manna hai it should be there or not sir it should be there hmm. because uh, hmm. because sir in every organization there is for particular skill they are uh, employees but after that skill they the employees become with the part of the management as in my bank till scale 3 till scale they it is a part, they are the normal employees but after scale 4 to 7 they are the part of the management so mm-hmm. and gen- normally branch managers are scale 4 so if they are doing some uh, like not genuine work or they are like intentionally they are matlab unko pareshan kar rahe employees ko then unki help ke liye a union rehta hai wahan pe kyunki union ke andar jo highest leader rehta hai wo scale 3 tak rehta hai wo management ka part nahi banta to hamare jo doubts hai jo bhi hamari help hai वो यूनियन हमारे हेल्प करता है सपोर्ट के लिए क्योंकि एम्प्लॉयज नहीं करेंगे हमारी हेल्प क्योंकि उनको उनकी जॉब सिक्योरिटी भी देखनी है वो हमारे डायरेक्टली हेल्प नहीं करेंगे बट यूनियन एक मीडिएटर होता है हमारे बीच में मैनेजमेंट के बीच में और मैनेजमेंट उनको एज पर गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसीज डायरेक्टली इन्फ्लुएंस भी नहीं कर सकते तो ये और नॉर्मली हम उनको मंथली सैलरी से कुछ अमाउंट पे भी करते हैं फॉर दिस फॉर दियर प्रोग्राम्स एंड फॉर हेल्पिंग अस ओके okay. और क्लास गेजेटेड ऑफिसर्स का यूनियन होना चाहिए सॉरी सर गेजेटेड ऑफिसर का यूनियन होना होना चाहिए गेजेटेड ऑफिसर का यूनियन सर एज पर माय स्टैंडिंग वो आई थिंक नहीं होना चाहिए क्योंकि गेजेटेड ऑफिसर्स ऑलरेडी इतनी पावरफुल पोजीशन पे है और वो डायरेक्टली गवर्नमेंट से कम्युनिकेट uh, कर सकते हैं उनकी रिक्वायरमेंट्स के रिगार्डिंग ये स्टडी तुम्हें देता हूं तुम्हें लगता है कि जो वर्कर्स हैं उनका कॉज जस्टिफाइड है दे आर करेक्ट But if you pursue that, if आप उनको साइड लेते हैं तो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को लॉस हो सकता है तो वट विल यू डू इन दैट सिचुएशन सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मैं चेक करूंगा उनका जो कॉस है वो कब से पेंडिंग है और वो क्या कॉस है अगर उनका कॉस बहुत जेन्यून है तो फर्स्ट में अपने मैनेजमेंट से डिस्कस करूंगा कि ये पर्टिकुलर उनका इस बेनिफिट का कॉस है लाइक उनको एक एग्जाम्पल ले लेता हूँ जाएगी उनको हेल्थ बेनिफिट नहीं मिल रहे इनकी कंडीशन फैक्ट्री में बहुत हजार जर्स है तो तो ऑलरेडी अगर उसी कंपनी हमारी कंपनी ने कुछ फैसला बना रखी होगी उसकी रूल्स पॉलिसी तो वो तो फुलफिल होगी इन केस वो फुलफिल नहीं हो रही है तो मैं हम मैं फर्स्ट फॉर मैनेजमेंट से डिस्कस करूंगा उनको मतलब उनको निगोशिएट करूंगा मेरे मैनेजमेंट से क्योंकि ये इंपॉर्टेंट है ओवरऑल नॉट प्रेजेंट के लिए इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है फ्यूचर एस्पेक्ट्स के लिए इंपॉर्टेंट है अदरवाइज एम्प्लॉय टर्न ओवर एम्प्लॉय एबसेंटिज में होगा एम्प्लॉय का टर्न वो टर्न अराउंड मतलब वो एबसेंट होंगे और डिक्रीज होगी प्रोडक्टिविटी कंपनी की सो लाइक एम्प्लॉय के बेनिफिट के अंदर बट डिपेंड करना पड़ेगा उनकी डिमांड क्या है उसके अकॉर्डिंग ये स्टेप लिया जाएगा और कंपनी को बताना पड़ेगा कि ये उनके फ्यूचर गोल्स से मैच करेगा अगर आप फुलफिल करोगे तो मे बी ये 
कंपनी एक्सेप्ट ना करे बट मैं अपना पॉइंट रखूंगा ओके विशाल विशाल सर ओवर टू यू ही इज गोइंग फॉर एचआर प्रोफेसर हां यस सर थैंक यू हेलो हां यस सर हां यस हेलो अश्विनी अश्विनी यू आर गोइंग फॉर एचआर मैनेजर और दिस इज एचआर इन मार्केटिंग और काइंड ऑफ मार्केटिंग मैनेजर सर इट इज अ प्योर एचआर पोस्ट एचआर ऑफिसर यू डिड योर एमबीए इन मार्केटिंग ना सर बोथ इन मार्केटिंग एंड एचआर मार्केटिंग एंड सो सम काइंड ऑफ ड्यूअल स्पेशलाइजेशन यू गोट बट बोथ आर टू डिफरेंट डोमेन so that kind of that that kind of that kind of specialization is available in i think mnid you mentioned yes sir yes sir okay okay so can you tell us some of the uh, roles of hr manager and what do you sir, understand by human resource management uh human is sir uh, human resource management is that for every organization there are three main things company capital is there human resource is there and customers are there so for uh, capital we get from the bank or owners are can give the capital but we have to do that from using that capital we have to complete some task and there comes the human human so that's why human are the resource for completing a particular task and the management are totally dependent on that and in service sector it is it is the very necessity so i think the for uh, completing a particular task on the right time with along with the right employees so human resource management is required and if i talk about the roles of the hr officer so there are different roles so first of all the empathy uh, empathy skill should have in in the hr officer so that hr officer can understand the what are the requirement of this particular person even if he, like for example he has given a bills for his medical he required the urgent reimbursement for that so we can don't put uh, say we will do this we can do this i will put the note so we also follow up with the higher authority sir that this is the bills if urgent requirement is there for the employees so please sir do this as soon as you can do so we have to do empathy with the employees and second day we should have a communication skills because we have to deal with the prospective employees and also with the higher management so in between we are the mediators so we have to communicate a day to day out with the both of them so good communication and verbal along with the written skills should be there and yes. sir third skill the negotiation skills negotiation means like in private jobs uh, for we go the final round to the hr round after that hr round we negotiate the salary part then salary part first we have to check what is the budget of the company what is the experience and education le- level of the candidate if it fulfills our budget then that is okay but if the education level is higher experience is higher and it will be beneficial for the organization then we have to negotiate with our management also that we are losing a very good candidate we have to increase our budget so these are the main three skills according to me actually what do you understand by division of work sir so division of work, as per my understanding is uh, ki a work is divided into different parts between different uh, different uh, employees mm-hmm. like first employee will do how you will divide i will divide according to their under, like past experience if i have a data like if i have a data regarding how much he has already worked in a particular sector particular company what is education level understanding level like for a, a junior a, a young person will come with a less experience so i will give him a normal task like uh, to see that particular how this work is happens and after understanding that part you do this repetitive task i will give because he get there did uh, he will get used to that part and it's the medium skill person is there then i will give yeah, you are the higher like you are have knowledge as uh, uh, more than this younger person then you will do the supervisor role then if the person have more experience like 10, around 10 years then i will give him a like management manager role so the different part i will divide for the division of work so specialization is good like it is good to divide work based on the specialization sir so not specialization and according to the experience level because in uh, mostly in private sector experience is the main thing as you have already knowledge but that knowledge you are using from the particular time period or not that is the main thing so, okay i think what kind of management is there in hpcl can you tell tell us something about the structure of management in hpcl so i don't know the inner hpcl like hierarchy but as far as i'm understanding there's a thing scales are there even e2 e3 e4 some hr officer hr officer will be there then he will 
convert it to uh, senior yeah. HR officer, then it will convert to HR yeah. manager. At what level you will enter? If you will get the opportunity, at what level you are going to enter? So currently, I'm going to enter HR officer, but if I will get the opportunity, so I will try to get the like a senior HR officer because I already have uh, two years of experience. So like I am an experienced person. So I think the senior HR officer, like it's second scale, will be good for me to utilize my uh, skills that I've acquired during MBA and current job and to learn new skills for my personal ex ex excellence and company's growth. Ashti, what do you understand by allowances and why they are required? Sir, so, uh, okay. Sir, so allowances uh, means uh, the additional benefits or perks we give to the employees. And mm -hmm. uh, normally everybody gets the salary. But if we give the other allowances like medical benefits, transport allowance, and um, perfor performance based allowance, so it gives a motivation to the employees that we are giving a, a, a the companies caring for the employees for their different uh, per, like uh, different aspects. Me, uske companies ko allowance de rahi hai, uski benefit kar rahi hai. So ye kitha so, whole sir holistic. Whole sir, technical policies related to the allowances given to the uh, you know employees at various level. Uh, sir, I know about little bit about not various level, but as a holistic, I only know what uh, basically employees get from the HPCL. Like uh, they get the holiday home facility if they want to travel to some uh, outskirts or whole, like uh, hill station. So they get uh, a good holiday, ho holiday home in the like uh, very <laughs> last, last two questions to you. Can you tell yes, us some sir. of the HPCL product? What sir? Some of the HPCL product. Can you tell us? So HPCL, one of the new product is HPCL small cylinder, uh, 5 kg cylinder Apu. The company has recently launched uh, that, that cylinder is very, like no document required to get that cylinder. We can easily refill that cylinder and use for our internal purposes for cooking and for industrial purpose also. And uh, this comes up in both the industrial and domestic use. And uh, other is the HPCL normally three products are there for in the retail retail segment, domestic cylinder and industrial selector. And uh, for the lubricants are there for HPCL. I'm not able to get uh, what is the uh, like fixed uh, perfect name for that. So uh, these lubricants are there that uh, the HPCL provides to the com industrial companies for their manufacturing purpose. And uh, uh, other one is a ref refinery. It's the not a product. It's a division of HPCL from like up, from a refinery for the, so their downstream product. For the down, downstream, sorry, uh, uh, downstream there. Mm -hmm. And especially divided into other parts for aviation also, like for uh, filling their fuels for sprit, filling in the airplanes. And uh, some are the international trade and uh, as research a graduate, development. Uh, actually, as a graduate in uh, marketing and HR, my last question is to you. Uh, even that is not related to the profile you are looking for, but you are a, you know, end user also, you are a customer, you are utilizing so many products of HPCL and at the same time you are uh, young graduate working in some company. So what marketing strategy you can, uh, you can, uh, you can, you can uh, tell us uh, so that HPCL, uh, which actually HPCL can include uh, this year for marketing its product. Oh. So there are many strategies. Uh, but the most the products the employees sorry customers use from HPCL are their petrol petrol company uh, employee wo, the customers use करते हैं और उनके cylinders use करते हैं market में so I think उसको improve करने के लिए एक तो हम जो उनके जो campaigns होते हैं उसको हम थोड़े उसके अंदर benefits provide कर सकते हैं कि if you feel this this कोई particular time period है holiday season चल रहा है अगर आप time पे petrol अगर full कराओगे 500 का तो आपके एक lucky draw मिलेगा so ये एक थोड़ा curiosity generate करेगा customers के mind में और उनको हम मतलब उनको हम दे सकते हैं benefit जो मुझे खुद को मिला है IUCL की तरफ से ये एक marketing strategy है but वो regular intervals पे करनी चाहिए करनी चाहिए करना चाहेंगे दूसरा हमारे feedback एक form ले सकते हैं employees जो customers से कि how our service कैसी है आप हमें बताइए improvement कैसा है हम आपको एक surprise gift देंगे तो ये उनको engage कर सकता है customers को and second is हम जो जो पेट्रोल पंप से उसको और थोड़ा इंटरैक्टिव बना सकते हैं कस्टमर से हम अपनी सर्विसेज बता सकते हैं उसमें मार्केटिंग कर सकते हैं स्क्रीन लगा के कि ये हमारी सर्विस है यानी न्यू प्रोडक्ट आता है कंपनी में तो हम उसको एक प्रॉपर तरीके से मार्केटिंग कर सकते हैं और अदर सर्विसेज ऑलरेडी प्रोवाइड करते हैं पेट्रोल पंप पे एंड दिस सिलेंडर पार्ट पे अगर आएंगे 
तो सिलेंडर फायर में एक सेफ्टी एक मेजर होता है जो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है तो हम एक डेमोस्ट्रेशन स्किल जब एक, एक प्ले रख सकते हैं पेट्रोल पंप्स पे या फिर कई कस्टमर्स के बीच में कुछ अगर लाइक फेयर होता है मेला लगता है वहाँ पे एच पी सेल अपना एक कैंपेन स्टार्ट कर सकता है कि वोट आर द सेफ्टी मेजर्स एंड वॉट इज लाइक सिलेंडर के लिए आपको क्या क्या यूज करना चाहिए तो एक मार्केटिंग स्ट्रेटेजी होगी कि कस्टमर्स को इंगेज करके रखना है और सेम टाइम पे उनको सिक्योरिटी का भी बताना है कि हाउ के दिन के सेफली यूज दी प्रोडक्ट्स ठीक है ओवर टू यू विजेंद्र सर आई थिंक नाउ वी कैन प्रोवाइड इन द फीडबैक ओके अश्विनी लेट मी फर्स्ट डिस्कस विद यू देन विजेंद्र सर विल आल्सो बी देयर एंड ही विल प्रोवाइड यू द फीडबैक अश्विनी आई आस्क्ड यू सम क्वेश्चन मेजरली फ्रॉम द एचआर प्रोफाइल बिकॉज़ यू आर गोइंग फॉर दैट एचआर द रोल ऑफ एचआर मैनेजर सो सम ऑफ द की यू नो रोल्स यू मेंशन ओके यस सर why it is important that further you need to add you have not very effectively highlighted why hr is important so you can measure uh, you can mention about the skilled required because hr only they are the person they are uh, having uh, they, they are actually going to recruit the person right? so <laughs> the you know about the technical competency the managerial skills required for a particular job profile and you need to choose the persons accordingly and you, you need to train actually provide the training to those persons accordingly so that you will be able to utilize the work force effectively to wo thoda sa aapko dekhna chahiye like why actually hr management is required what is the role of role you correctly highlighted but why it is important for an industry it how it can affect the performance or entire overall uh, profit making of the company so that you can re- relate division of work is nothing but the dividing work uh, it may be based on the experience you mentioned but you can go with the specialization what kind of specialization uh, persons are having but it depends actually it varies from uh, uh, areas to areas in some uh, areas like suppose you are uh, you are doing some research okay you are in some r&d company so some specific uh, work you are carrying out so in that case it, is, it will be good to, to divide the work based on the uh, the specialization the experience which a person is having so obviously that division actually uh, 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 actually when you divide a work uh, it will be very effectively you, uh, you you will get the idea ki yes the skill of a person what kind of skills are required what kind of trainings are required and that actually that will be good for the uh, employer also employee also to uh, work effectively in under such kind of uh, situations okay so there are some there are some actually rules some uh, 14 fayol principles you can go and you can get more yes, detail sir. about uh, these kind of concepts a uh, division of work a uh, specialization allowances training and uh, then i asked you some some uh, questions uh, related to the marketing uh, marketing strategies you highlighted although you are going for hr manager manager profile but you mentioned about your specialization in that that's why i asked you one question so you answered you men- mentioned some of the uh, p- prospective ways by which we can uh, uh, do the marketing for the next year uh, yes it's fine and most of the oil company they go like that they provide uh, such kind of uh, uh come uh, what what you can say benefits in terms of the uh, weekend when person go for uh, petrol or petrol or diesel filling for more than 500 or 1000 uh, rupees so those things you mentioned so mere khayal se theek hai allowances uh, overall your uh, performance is looking fine ashwini uh, go you, through sir. some more policies detail because allowances when you are mentioning because the major role of hr manager is to uh, provide the allowances training and all those things so you need to uh, have some understanding of the policies Uh, which hpcl is having so go through that so that he will be able to highlight effectively uh, in front of the interviewer overall it's fine ashwini from my side thank you ashwini theek hai jo maine question aapse pichli baar bhi puche the aur jo is baar bhi puche hain na questions ha sir so sare questions ko ek bar go through karna alag alag type ke hr ke question puche gaye hain alag alag cheeze puchi gayi hain un sab ko revise karna aur acche tarike se taiyari karna right okay sir okay okay thank you thank you sir